So uh, today we're out at Bashaw, near Bashaw, Alberta, at uh, at uh, Reich's place, and uh, they're going to be one of our inductees into the uh, Alberta Hall of Fame this coming August. And uh, we've got pretty near the whole family here today, which is nice. And uh, we're we're just out here in Harold and Dorothy's backyard, so we're going to chat with the the original people that started the herd, and I'll hand it over to Godhold and. Ermagard, am I yes. not, no, it's not correct? And uh, maybe you could give us just a little history when you started and how you started and so on. All right. We moved out here on this place in the spring of 1952. 10th of April. Yeah, 10th of April. And in a dirty I lived house. And here, <laughs> and the house was sitting here somewhere where. This house is sitting just a little yeah, closer, maybe to the to the road. Some bushes grow in, and I got interested right away in Black Angus. And in 1954, I went to a good old friend, Adam Shireman, who lived east of here, and bought one two-year-old heifer and two calves. Okay. And that's how we got started. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I remember a bull you raised called uh, GV Bandler GV 13S. Yes. That was one of your famous well, bulls. Yeah, it was. It that bull 13S was out of this. And not uh, 100 N bull was he? I gotta ask my. I'm not son. sure. I'd, I'd have to look at the pedigree. <laughs> That's okay. I, I, I gotta ask my son. I just remember that. I think that, that was in 19. I think he was born in 1965. Okay. So what? Do you Does that sound right? Yeah. Yeah. Because the the two-year-old heifer that I bought from Ed Adam was bred. Right. So I actually didn't breed that bull, but he was born here at this place. Yeah. So. So basically, your herd started in 1954. Yeah. And so that's a long time ago. That's uh, in my head how many years that is. How many? Six. Yeah. 65. 65. Yeah. So no, how yeah. big? Or 63. 63, yeah. yeah. How big did your herd get up to when before Harold took it over and Rita? Oh, about close to 100 cows. 90. Okay. Yeah. 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 90. Sure. And, you, and through them years, you would have sold a number of cattle privately to the United oh, States yes, and yeah. all over the place. Yeah, yeah. we sure. sold to Mrs. Henley quite a few in California. In California, and quite a few cattle to Japan. Yes, that was in the but late sixties, late sixties, early seventies. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And then we, yeah, and then we started showing. Dad started showing in 71, and we had the first aggravation champion. Yeah. Female with the calf on the front side. We've, I think we've got the, you guys donated the banner to the office. Now. Yes. It's hanging, yeah. hanging very proudly in the office. Harold got yeah. the trophy. Sure. <laughs> Harold, you've taken over the herd, and, and it was Greenvale, and now you call it Reich Angus. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That was in 1985. I wanted to go for the winter and to, yeah. uh, to the States, you sure. know. Yeah, well, I, I kind of, I guess I was part of the part of the whole cow herd by the time I was, yeah. I think I was 16 by the time. And when I was, I think it was in 85, then I bought, then I, I owned all the Angus. And then I, I sold most of my bulls around, uh, at all the bull sales, and then in '94 I was in the, I joined forces with Rob Hamilton at a bull sale there, and uh, then in 2002 I decided to start calving in April and uh, sold bulls privately for a few years, and now I have a bull sale in Penelka, a two-year-old bull sale, and, and it's a uh, we've got a very strong commercial market now. It's a very good sale. Okay. okay, so Harold's uh, been telling us about his herd, and he's got his family in here with us now, and we're just going to take a minute for Harold to introduce his family that work with him here 
at the ranch nowadays. So go ahead, Harold. Yeah, um, I got uh, I got married 12 years ago to Dorothy here, and uh, along with them came three sons. Two of them are here, uh, Colton and uh, and Brent, and they uh, they are a real integral part of of this whole operation. Especially Colton, he's got he's got Angus cows, and he's part of the bull sale and everything, and uh, and Dorothy is a, a big part, especially bull sale time, because she take, does the catalog and does all the pictures and, and that stuff. Um, also, Harold, I, I guess I go to a lot of bull sales in the spring, and uh, and uh, we've started analyzing the meals that you that these bull sales. <laughs> and I have to tell you, you guys have the top meal of just about any bull sale I go to, and I. Would, I just had to mention that. <laughs> yeah. Well, we get we get CAB uh, prime rib is what we serve, uh, and so uh, the whole town turns. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got a pretty good name for that. Yeah, but we try to you know we're in the beef industry, so we want to serve the best beef that you can eat, and I think that's what we try to serve. Sure. And then we bug Colton about his semitols there, so <laughs> they're, they're pretty good too. So and. Uh, one thing I want to mention too, Colton, is that you're, you see you had a lot of bull sales with your insurance uh, yeah. deal there too. So. Yeah, work for Canadian Farm Insurance and go around to a lot of the bull sales uh, doing insurance at a lot of them. So maybe just to, to finish up, we could uh, just start off with Rita and, and just give us one or two accomplishments that you can remember that that's happened at Reich's over the past 65 years, something that would, well, you know, maybe when you showed it. Let me just introduce Rita. She was my right hand, what do you call them, cowboy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cowgirl. Sure. Nothing else helped. When, uh, when I couldn't handle cattle in the show ring, she took she, over. She. Yeah, but Harold and I, we did, we spent our summers as teenagers showing cattle. That was kind of like our holiday <laughs> because we had to get up five in the morning and and uh, sometimes we had 13, 13 head we'd have at the show ring at the at the show and those cattle by the end of the summer they led like horses we could run with them one would take six one would take seven and we'd run with them <laughs> they would wouldn't even pull on the halters at all we no, had them trained yeah we went to ten shows yeah every summer did you yeah. 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 About ten, yeah. It was a great time. Yeah. <laughs> and, and what did you think of all these deals going on, Dorothy, when you come along here? Well, I met these guys when I was 13. Sure. Because I showed sheep, right? Oh, right. I, I met Dorothy yes. at one of the shows. The very first time I met her was at Cameron's, mm -hmm. the fair. <laughs> I remember all those sheep guys. And so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. So yeah. I grew up in the whole kind of thing, only I was leading sheep around, not cattle. <laughs> sure, perfect. <Yeah. laughs> Brett, what about yourself? Yeah. I just Home custom farm is what I do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Field tech. <laughs> That's good. Harold, what sticks out in your mind? Um, I think what really, what is a, in this breeding Angus, like we got a lot of pictures of Dad's bulls back when he was shown in Calgary in the mid '60s and that. And if you looked at those bulls and look at the bulls that I'm selling now. They are very similar bulls in in style and that, and we've and I've tried to create a predictable product that I that my dad started producing, and I'm still trying to do that. Um, and that's one of the the biggest things I'm trying to do in when I'm breeding bulls is is to breed a predictable product. And I think we've done that over a very long period of time without staying trying to stay away from the fads that change every two three years. So, so what about uh, what, what kind of statistics do you keep on them? Birth weights? And yeah, I keep I keep all the all the statistics on it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And yeah. we have we're performance testing. I think in '58 is sure. when the ROP program started. So. Sure. Yeah. In uh, in 1976, mm -hmm. the Commonwealth Games was on, and the Queen Elizabeth came, mm -hmm. and the people that had the champion of all breeds. The Queen presented a ribbon to us, and we had champion bull. The judge was Jim Miller at that time, and uh, and I had champion bull, and I got to meet the Queen. Mm -hmm. So it was kind of a highlight. 
and that was yeah, I was in '76.